hello y'all my name is happy back legends and thank you so much for clicking on this video on my channel yes okay i wanted to make this video because i just wanted to vent and i just wanted to talk so hello hi yes if you guys didn't know yesterday was election day so if you didn't vote you didn't vote. If you managed to vote, congratulations. Thank you for exercising your American right. I really appreciate it. I wanted to make this video because, as many of you guys know, I do have a political background. I started working in politics during the general election in 2018, which, is a, which was a midterm election, so it wasn't, you know, as big as a presidential election or anything like that. But I started in 2018, and since then, I've learned so much about politics. I've learned so much about this world and this um, this business, really. It, it's a business. <laughs> so I've learned a lot about politics and politicians and elections. And so I want to give just some words to you guys, for those of you guys that are maybe stressed about the elections, for those of you guys that have questions and are concerned. That being said, even though I have the experience that I have working on campaigns, working with, you know, senators and mayors and city council people, even though I have those experiences, I am not like, I don't have a degree in politics. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything. So if I say something in this video um, that doesn't apply, number one, I live in California and so we have a lot of lax laws and in California they really encourage you to vote like it's pretty they make it so easy for you to vote in California whereas in other states I know that's not the case and um that being said you know if I do something that's wrong I do apologize in advance for that feel free to correct me and if you don't agree with what I have to say comment down below how you feel say it with your chest boo boo as you guys probably know, I'm very left-leaning. However, I work with many right-leaning people, and in my work, I have to talk to people of all political backgrounds, you know? Like, so I've had conversations with people where it's like, you know, I don't agree with anything you're fucking saying, but I still appreciate those conversations because what that does is it provides context and perspective to a life that I don't live. And so it allows me to understand why people have certain opinions that I, even though I don't agree with, now I understand where they're coming from. You know what I mean? So first of all, I just want to say that this election is pretty much going as planned. I will say though, I wasn't expecting Biden like, last I checked, Biden is ahead, I think, by, like, barely 20-something po points for the Electoral College. Like, it's a very close margin. It's neck and neck at this point. That being said, um, I wasn't expecting Biden to already be ahead at this point. I was expecting Trump to be ahead on election night. And as those ballots from states are being counted, I was expecting Biden to eventually go past Trump's lead. I want to make some things clear to you guys. 22 states allow postmarked ballots days after the election. I need you guys to understand this. I need you guys to understand the fact that there are literally millions of votes that still haven't been counted. I need you guys to understand this. I also need you guys to understand that Trump kind of screwed over his own damn party because he encouraged Republicans to wait to vote. Democrats were voting and voting and voting at rapid rates you had Democrats registering more people. Republicans waiting to vote until Election Day means that there's more room for error. It means that more people might not actually be able to vote because now you're just waiting until one day rather than like the base, basically the month that we had. We got our ballots. The ballots started to be mailed out, I think, October 5th. And most people got them early on. I got my ballot like very early on my housemate voted like the day after we got our ballot. So I need you guys to understand that. I also need you guys to understand that voter turnout for this election is so ridiculously high. And I'm saying this from the perspective as someone who my job in the past and in this election cycle is to encourage people to go vote. I can't even tell you how hard it is to get people to vote or turn in their ballots. And so the fact that this year voter turnout was as high as it was, I need people to understand that. 
That being said, at this point, I'm not comfortable to say that Biden's gonna win, but I honestly do believe that Biden is actually going to win. And the reason I believe that is because you have literally millions and millions and millions of ballots that still haven't been counted, and um, Democrats voted more by mail. Some states, they're allowed days to count ballots. Some states are allowed weeks. In California, we have 30 days a month. We have a whole last month. I also want to say that I've worked on an election where I worked for a campaign where it was too close to call on election night. My candidate that I worked for and our opponent were neck and neck. At some points, they were like 50 votes difference, like only a few hundred. It was neck and neck. And then over the course of the month, my candidate's lead grew. Why did his lead grew? He's a Democrat. Democrats vote by mail. Typically, Republicans like to go to the polls. They like to go to the polls with their friends and family, and they like to get brunch afterwards. They don't trust the mailing system. Trump, like, drove that into people's heads, especially in this election. You know, this election, I need people to understand that it truly is unprecedented. This is basically, basically, excuse me, Bush Al Gore 2.0. Here's my fear, though. Let's say Biden does win, but it's well within the margin of error and it's just really close. Some states might, you know, some Republicans, especially in red states, they might urge for a recount. They might, you know, cry for a recount. My only fear is with a Republican majority Supreme Court, the Supreme Court could essentially do what they did to Bush and just give it to Trump. Do I think that's actually going to happen? No, because Democrats outnumber Republicans by mail-in ballots, and I need people to understand that. And in a lot of these swing states, you know, there's still votes that are gonna be counted. We might not know who is president until Friday. I'm being serious, I'm being dead ass. The fact that so many people have voted is making the ROV, the Registrar of Voters Office, it's making, you know, people that work at ballot centers, it's making their jobs, like, extremely difficult because there's more there's more work to do a lot of these places are understaffed a lot of these people are working ridiculous hours to ensure that people's votes are counted so I know that this is very stressful and I know that this situation sucks I voted for Joe I didn't fucking want to vote for Joe or Kamala Cop Harris I did I did not want to I know that a lot of people have a lot of emotion and passion writing on this election justifiably, 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 what am I saying? You know, rightfully so, just they talk, you know. <laughs> I know that a lot of people are extremely afraid of the outcome of this election. I respect and understand that. And I'm not trying to say calm down, but I'm just trying to say calm down. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is this is looking a lot better for Biden than we originally thought, than a lot of people originally thought. I work in politics, and before the mail-in ballots were sent out, I thought that Biden had a zero chance of winning. I was like, look, presidents rarely don't get to serve their second term. Yes, Trump is unpopular, but to actually, you know, not have a president serve their second term, I just don't see that happening. I, I called it. I said, look, I think we're not going to know who's president on election night because there's so many mail-in ballots. And I called it because that happened to me in 2018. That's exactly what happened to me in 2018. We had to wait for all those ballots to be counted and elections were over. And yeah, my candidate was ahead. But every few days I was checking because he was only ahead on like by 2 a.m. of like Wednesday after election day. He was literally ahead like Barely. Barely. It was like maybe a thousand, maybe a few hundred votes, which is well within the margin of error. So I'm making this video my conclusion in finality. In finality? What am I even saying right now? Basically, what I just want you guys to know is that Biden has a much better chance of winning, and I know that Trump is nervous as hell. Um, Trump shot his own people in the foot. If Trump had encouraged Republicans to turn in mail-in ballots like Democrats were encouraging people to do so, 
Maybe this would be a different story. Maybe Trump's lead would honestly be better. I don't know. I also think that Trump had a little bit of a harder job than Biden in this election because I don't know how many new Trump supporters were created. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like more people turned away from Trump than he attracted. Like, I know so many people that voted for Trump in 2016. I know. And then they voted for Biden in 2018 or they did not vote for him again in 2018. They just wrote it and someone else or left it blank or did whatever they did. And so I just think that Biden's chances are much higher than we're all expecting. And I want everyone to know that this can take a few days. And I want you guys to practice some self-soothing activities. I want you guys to do things that make you feel good. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I just wanted to make this video to, to decompress and share my political opinions because obviously, you know, I'm scrolling on Twitter and I'm just seeing all these people that are anxious as hell and I totally respect and get it. But I just want to offer my insight as someone that does have experience with campaigning, with elections, and has experience with mail-in ballots. Um, I just wanted to give my, you know, little, little, you know, insight. And like I said, I am not a politician. I don't have a degree in politics, although I have been considering, you know, going further with politics, I could never be a politician. I could never run for any sort of seat in anything. I have literally zero desire to do that. But I totally would love to continue working on campaigns or maybe working for like a party or an office. I don't really know. I'm manifesting, I'm hoping, I'm praying that I can find something because the one thing that sucks about the political field is a lot of it is seasonal. A lot of it is temporary work. So. You might, you might may be making a fuck ton of money for two to three months, but then you don't have a job for the next four, five, six months, or even a year plus. So that's kind of the shitty part about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. I am not a Republican or Democrat. I am a registered independent. I have issues with both parties. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Democrats are pussies and Republicans care too much about numbers and economy and statistics and not human lives that is my personal opinion about both parties but i do love politics and i i i'm not gonna lie i really love working in this field and i love it, it, it's just it's really interesting to learn more about your country and your history and why everything is the way it is it's fascinating it's aggravating it's insulting but it's also i feel Every day I leave and I come home from work, I feel like I learned something and that's really like exciting and fun. So that's my little political rant for the day. I always have at least one, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the little meme compilation that I made. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. There is still a lot about politics that confuse the shit out of me. So like I said, I'm not like this political mastermind. I'm truly not. Um, like, the electoral college system, I can't explain that to you. That shit confuses the fuck out of me and it pisses me off. A lot of us want it gone. It's a mess. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna edit this for you guys really fast. Please, you guys, stay safe. Let's not forget that we are still in a pandemic. Cases are rising. Please don't forget that you guys are loved and... Um, Don't allow these nasty people to get in your head. You're not worthless. Don't allow racists and homophobes to make you feel like shit. You're not shit. And I just want to make that clear because I'm seeing a lot of people that are like, oh my God, if Trump wins, I'm going to do this to myself. And I know, I know the fear and I get that, but don't give them that satisfaction. Don't do that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I love you guys and I just want you guys to stay safe and I just I, I want you guys to relax and I just want you guys to have some peace in your heart, that's all. But I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. <sighs> Y'all, it's been a crazy like past two months. It truly has been. <laughs> but anyways, bye.